Uh, this was the Foy Valley Railway car park. It's separate from the museum now with this new building in front. But it's just at the bottom of the Craig Avon Bridge. If you're coming here from uh, the Northern Ireland side of, of the, the Foy, you come under the lower deck of the bridge. Motorhomes will still fit. It's a pretty high, large not can go under the lower deck. So you no problem, so a lot can come across the lower deck. If you're coming from uh, Donegal side, head towards the lower deck of the bridge as well. And you pass the Foy Valley Railway, and then the next gate, the second gate down, the second white gate brings into this car park. This pen display car park. It's not the biggest car park. Now, they want motorhomes to come in here during the day. I don't think they've thought it through. Before six o'clock, this car park will be jammed. It'll be jammed at five past nine in the morning with workers. Day Council have put this motorhome point here. Yeah, there's no loading bay or nothing. I have seen a motorhome in here at night time once. I wouldn't sleep in here at night. There's a, a youth hostel across the road where alcoholics stay at night time. They're not allowed in it during the day, so during the day they're sitting the wall. Not usually this park, but at the other side of the bridge. Charging ten pound. Drinking. At this facility, you can see already. This was only up here a couple of weeks ago, and already the markers is out. The signs were only up. I was here last week. There was no marker, no sign on it then. Anywhere else you have an errors site. If errors thing here would be vandalised. That's that part of the study. Like it's nice during the day and all like, but it would be vandalised. Uh, so that's probably why they had to put this cabinet here. So you can empty your chemical toilet waste, seventy tank friendly chemicals only. Grey empty grey water waste. Refill your fresh water. So you get the wee bit of drinking water. Make use of our cafe and customer toilet facilities. So that must be that building down there. They built that about one or two years ago. There's a wee cafe in the end of it. It wasn't even a year old and vandals broke under it and set on fire. So it must be up and going again. Uh, when the cafe and all is open, you can go in there and get the key for this. Uh, other than that, the taxi place, which is beside here, you go into there and get it. But it's 10 pounds to use it. So you had to get your motorhome in here. Now after six o'clock, ah, you get in here. But like, where are you going to step your motorhome? Long enough to take a walk down there. Bear in mind the time you go to the cafe. So if you go to the cafe, where do you park this big motorhome? Uh, it's pay and display. You have to pay to park your motorhome. Plus you have to pay the 10 pound for this. And I've been thinking then, I, I'm, I'm from the city area. And I've been thinking, like, man, I know where all the water taps are around Northern Ireland, so I can get supplied with water in my travels. Uh, day Council, Stavon Council went together when they started joining councils together. When it comes to tree planting and landscaping, Day Council way ahead. Stavon, useless. But when it comes to toilets, Stavon Council stuck toilets everywhere. The middle of nowhere, they would stick toilets. Day Council do not do public toilets. There is no public toilets belonging to the council anywhere in the city. If you want public toilets, you have to go to shopping centres and things. So they're not used to getting the people having free peas around here. But I was thinking then, if, if, if I was coming here to stay, I wouldn't recommend anybody stays here. If you want to come and wild camp at night time, at the other side of the Craig Avon Bridge, towards the Stavon direction, you've got pre-hen that boathouse. Hasn't been used in years, it's not an old council uh, flop like everything else the council does. And it's all boarded up and looks grotty. And beside it, you've got forest search and rescue. But the car park is quiet at night time, like you're near the main road, but it's quiet. You're not going to get the vandals and things there. Forest search and rescue patrol most of the night, the bankings and stuff, the volunteers. I would park there if I, if I was a stranger to the city. And your cycle lane comes the whole way down, but the cycle lane. It's mucked up at the Craig Avon Bridge. You have to get off and push there because uh, the old railway station is now a place that sells bathrooms and you don't have access to the bottom deck for a bicycle. So there was a cycle in here. There's a cycle in the other side. There's no link to link the two of them. And when you go up to the upper deck, the traffic lights and all, they're just not there. It's the whole thing, it's, just, it's, a missing, it's a missing link. So you come off the cycle lane, you have to go up to the upper deck Go across the upper deck and then you come down this side street here. So it's a long way around, like. Either that or cycle the road. If you're willing to cycle the road, then it's not so long. 
and you can cycle across, but not everybody wants to cycle roads like. And I say, lawyers and all can use that under that deck and that bridge. It's a nice bridge to go over. That doesn't get enough publicity, that Craig Evan Bridge. Proper engineering, like. But I was thinking, if, if, as far as getting drinking water, where would you get drinking water? And I was thinking then, I was looking at Google Maps, you got Listen to Galvin Cemetery. Cemetery is the place to go. Toilets right at the entrance. And uh, they have water taps there. I forget for the graves. I don't know if it's how suitable it is for drinking. But that, I'm sure that we taps turned on every day, like. And I don't know about the city cemetery, I've never been in it. But I'd imagine the only place you're going to get a toilet and water in this city would be cemeteries. But I had a look there and this nigga having cemetery, I don't even know it's called this nigga having cemetery, it's not actually marked on Google Maps. It's over by Glen, Tur Glen Dermot Church, it's not far from Mount Nigelvin Hospital. So if you look Google Maps, look for a cemetery and you zoom in it, you might see them with the toilets, it's just at the entrance. But I wouldn't pay no £10 for that. No way, plus parking. Yeah. I say, if you want to white camp, safer over. Prehen used to have an outdoor tap years ago. Bought new changing rooms, took it away. I like the outdoor taps now to get water from the pubs, like. Uh, St. Collins Park has uh, public toilets and a hard to find place. They don't want people using them. Over there is Glendema Church. Just behind it is the Tower of Anthony Gavin Hospital. This is a B road. But this B road runs parallel with the main road. So the main road coming from Belfast into London Days is the other side of the cemetery. The other side of that church. A few houses in between. Perfectly good. You turn off a Tully Alley to come up this road. Oh, not Tully Alley, Drummer Hole. Drummer Hole, Tully Alley. But there's a cemetery there. So I think this is Lustig Alvin Cemetery, it's not saying it. You find it in Google Maps, just look for it at Church. Church. Uh, close at 8 o'clock. The very end there, there's the toilets, public toilets. And there's a water tap, just, the water tap is just there in front. So if you're coming in a motorhome and you badly need water, there's a place to come if you're in London there and you need water. And that'd be terribly quiet. I would say if you had to dump your chemical tank now, they're probably not supposed to, but if you're desperate, you could chuck it down the toilet there, like. Problem solved. It's the list of Galvin Shopping Centre's Tesco's. Right beside the main road, if you're coming in from Belfast into London Derry. It's open 24 hours a day. Public toilets are at the back door, and they've got washing machines here. So anybody while you're camping, coming through the motorhome, you can't dump the chemical toilet, that's the only thing. Dump that out by the cemetery. And the public toilets can get you... Drinking water right there.